Greenhouses, where Niyong Duk Wang grows his lettuce, are his pride and joy. He grows seven different kinds of lettuce, that way he can harvest all year round. Niyong Duk Wang used to grow vegetables in an outdoor garden, but the yield was smaller. Today he uses modern technology, like many of his colleagues all around the city of Dalat. 18,000 hectares in the area are planted with fruits and vegetables. In a joint venture between the Vietnamese state and the German produce wholesaler Metro, training was provided for the owners of small and medium-sized farms in subjects such as business administration and the sparing use of insecticides and herbicides. Economically, we profit from cooperation with Metro because it makes the market more stable. We can deliver our vegetables to Metro every day. They also gave us technical support and explained how we can set up a production plan to manage our operation well. Metro has already trained about 17,000 farmers, thereby securing its supply of fruit and vegetables for its own markets. The farmers deliver their produce at special loading stations. The deliveries are immediately checked for quality, then cleaned and packed. For Vietnam, these are new procedures. The farmers get a guaranteed weekly wholesale price, but have to maintain quality that meets international standards, because some of the produce will be exported. I check the carrots. Each should weigh about 100 grams and be about 20 centimeters long. They shouldn't have gashes or be broken anywhere, and the color must be fresh. Metro set up cold storage warehouses and hired food chemists. Most of the fruit and vegetables in Vietnam are still sold at small stands in traditional markets like this one. That provides work for many people, but quality is problematic and quantities too small. With temperatures at 30 degrees or more, one third of the produce spoils during shipping. A few pieces of ice must suffice to cool the wares during the 10 hour trip to Ho Chi Minh City. That's how produce has been transported here for decades. And that's why there hasn't been enough fresh vegetables for everyone. Demand for groceries is huge in the rapidly growing cities. Ho Chi Minh City, the country's capital and economic center, has 8 million residents. They all want fresh vegetables, but supply often falls short. That's where Metro saw its opportunity to set up its wholesale business with government permission. It operates three large markets in Ho Chi Minh City alone and another five throughout the country. The company, which is called Metro Cash and Carry here, employs more than 3,000 people. Here, cooking courses are offered for big city customers. Knowing what seasonings and what vegetables go with what meat is especially interesting for small restaurant owners who want to try out something new. And of course the ingredients are only available from Metro. The manager underscores that 90% of what the stores offer in Vietnam is grown in Vietnam, and that's good for the farmers and domestic producers. The wholesaler sells 30,000 different products to retail businesses. Right now in Vietnam, people prefer local product, uh, although they're, they're expanding and they're growing because they're traveling overseas more, uh, they're seeing more products, so they, they demand more and more product. But at least for right now, the local product is, is what we sell most of. Vietnamese customers also want fresh produce, like these fish from local waters. Metro already has more than 500,000 customers in Vietnam, from small businessmen to a five-star hotel. 
For a long time, the German company was the only big wholesaler in the country. In 2009, competitors from France and the United States will be opening stores here. But with its good network of suppliers, Metro has a head start. Our farmers are actually exporting products now outside Vietnam. Uh, we, we actually work to train the farmers to get more yield from their field. We work to train the farmers on the proper pesticides. We work to train the farmers on the proper planting, using the proper seeds. We then control uh, from the farm all the way to the store the entire process. The training courses are organized by the German Development Service and the GTZ, another German aid organization. Yeah. Yeah. Niong Duk Wang is the chairman of a cooperative and has completed several training courses. He passes on his knowledge because there aren't enough courses to train everyone. Yeah. Many farmers in the Dalat area are now among the region's most affluent.